So this is a company called Makani Power, and they have been looking at, at what we call high altitude wind. Um, that could, typical wind turbines today are at about 80 meters, the, the hub height, in other words, sort of where the, the, the axle is that it, the blades spin on is about 80 meters off the ground. Um, so 250 plus feet, pretty high, in fact. Um, but if you go up twice that high, or five times that high, or 10 times that high, you can get to stronger and steadier winds. And then if you could imagine going, say, 10,000 meters or higher, um, you could begin to get up into the, the realm of the jet stream where the winds are much stronger and much steadier. Um, so Makani is looking at technology that isn't about finding a place like K2 or Mount Everest and just sticking a wind turbine on top of a very high place. You could do that today, um, but they're looking at technology that would allow you to, to fly with a, something that's analogous to a kite or a, a remote uh, you know, sort of autonomous um, vehicle you know, autonomous airplane to fly a power generator in the air and get it up high enough to capture the much stronger and steadier winds that are up there. And I think it is, um, uh, you know, in concept very simple. I think the engineering issues are actually quite complicated. And so there definitely is risk there. But I think it's something that has a lot of potential and potential to, to allow us to capture much more energy from wind and to reduce a lot of the issues with wind today, for example, that in many locations at the typical 80 meter hub height, you don't have great wind resources and you need to go much higher to get to good wind. Um, and wind is intermittent. Well, if you go higher, that issue doesn't necessarily go away, but it becomes much less.